Hi everyone, my name is Parvati and welcome to Easy Nursing. So today we are going to talk about ABG interpretation. We all know what is ABG and we have done it in the clinical setting. But when it comes to interpreting ABG, we struggle a little bit. I did when I was studying and also when I was working. But recently I came across a simple technique to interpret ABG. It's super easy and I'm gonna teach you that. Let's do it. So before we start talking about ABG interpretation and its technique, let's talk a little bit about ABG. What is ABG and what is its purpose? As we all know, ABG is arterial blood gas, the blood which is taken from the artery of a patient. And why we are doing ABG? It is to determine the oxygenation and the acid base balance of a patient. And how do we do this interpretation? What are the components we need? So the main components of ABG for inter interpreting the ABG, uh, we need pH, PaCO2 or PCO2 and bicarb HCO3. And we have to by heart these normal values. It's very important. So write this down. The normal value of pH is 7.35 to 7.45. And pCO2 is really easy because you can take this 35 and 45 and it is 35 to 45. So you really need to learn bicarb's normal value. It's 22 to 26. Now, what are the steps to interpret the ABG? There are mainly three steps to interpret ABG. The first one is we have to determine if it is acidosis or alkalosis. The second one is if it is respiratory or metabolic. The last one is if it is non-compensatory or it's partially compensated or fully compensated. So let's talk about the first step of interpreting ABG. We have to figure out if it is acidosis or alkalosis. I have a little table here and we have these three main components, pH, PaCO2 and bicarb. And pH is the main basic component which we have to figure out uh, the sample that we have is acid or base. That is acidotic or alkalotic. And also, we need to know if PaCO2 and bicarb will come under acid or base. So in order for that, we need to know the basic uh, normal values. So for pH, it is 7.35 and 7.45. Whatever comes below the normal value, it is acid or acidotic. And if it is above the normal value, it is base or alkalotic. It, it, it is similar for pH and bicarb, but for PaCO2, if it is above the normal value, it is acid, and if it is below the normal value, it is alkalotic. So let's talk about the second step, if it is respiratory or metabolic. If it is respiratory, the PaCO2 will be uh, abnormal, and if it is metabolic, it, it will be the bicarb. So bicarb is related to metabolic or kidney and PaCO2 or PCO2 is related to respiratory or lungs. So let's talk about the final step that is compensation. So what is compensation? It is the fight to bring that equilibrium back. Same like this. So if we have an abnormal pH, bicarb or PaCO2 will increase or decrease to bring that pH back to normal. That is called compensation. And we have three types of compensation as we told before. That is non-compensation or uncompensated, partially compensated and fully compensated. We can see one by one. So let's talk about no compensation or uncompensated. We have two scenarios here. 
so in both the pH will be abnormal so our goal is to bring that pH back and in the first scenario the pCO2 is abnormal bicarb is normal in the other one it's vice versa so either uh, the normal one has to bring itself up or down to bring that pH to normal in this case it it didn't try or it couldn't reach that or it is it cannot do it uh, to bring that pH back so that is called non-compensation or uncompensated so the other one is partial compensation what's happening here so our pH pACO2 and bicarb everything is abnormal so what's our goal we have to bring the pH back to normal so let's say if pACO2 was abnormal and HCO3 was normal so it increased or decreased itself and trying to bring this pH back to normal even though it tried it couldn't so that means it's trying that's partially compensating so full compensation let's see what's happening we have a normal pH a pCO2 and bicarb are abnormal so what would have happened here maybe we had an abnormal pH and one of this increased or decreased to bring that pH back to normal and when that happened it came back to normal that means it is fully compensated so let's talk about the technique now for that we need a little table like this in the in one column we need acidosis normal and alkalosis and when we have those values for pH pCO2 and bicarb we need to put it accordingly like as per the values so let's say we got pH and something else under acidosis so that is the problem of that patient like this and you'll get an idea when we do some examples so we need that normal values handy so just write that down or just remember that and we are we are having our question here pH is 7.5 pCO2 is 48 and bicarb is 28 and we have our small table so where the pH will goes it's under alkalosis so let's say uh, 7.5 it is under alkalotic so it comes under alkalosis and the next one is pCO2 the value is 48 PACO2 48 will comes here so it is acidotic it comes here the, the other value is bicarb it is 28 so it is under alkalosis so here so we have our values under alkalosis so now we can interpret so we figured out our problem is alkalosis and since the bicarb comes under alkalosis we know that it is metabolic so how do we interpret so the interpretation will be alkalosis and since the bicarb is under alkalosis it is metabolic and it is partially compensated how do we know that because the pacio2 is abnormal that means it is trying to bring that abnormal pH back but it couldn't because the pH is still abnormal so it is partially compensated let's do our second example we have our normal value and our question and we have our little table so we have pH of 7.22 that is below 7.35 so it is acidotic and the next one is pacu2 which is 50 pacu2 50 comes under acidotic again and we have our bicarb which is 28 bicarb 28 will comes under alkalotic so here and we have two values here under acidosis so our problem is acidosis 
Since PaCO2 is under the acidosis, the problem is respiratory. So how do we interpret? It is acidosis since the pH is under and pH and PaCO2 is under acidosis. It is acidosis and PaCO2 is related to lungs that is respiratory and is it partially or fully compensated? We have our bicarb which is abnormal. That means it is trying to bring that abnormal pH back. So it is partially compensated. So that's our answer. Let's do our next example. Our normal values, the question, the table, and the pH is normal. So 7.38 is normal between 7.35 and 7.45. The next value is PaCO2, which is 54. 54 will come here. That is acidotic. And the next value is bicarb, which is 29. Bicarb is 29, so it is alkalotic. So what's happening here? We don't have two values together, right? So this means we know that if these two are abnormal and the pH is normal, it is trying to compensate and it worked. But we don't know if it is acidosis or alkalosis whether the pH will go here or here. So for that, we need to go back again to the pH value. It is 7.38. Where the 7.38 is leaning to? It is leaning to the acidosis, right? It's nearly 7.35. So we can say that it is acidotic. That means the pH comes under acidosis. So we have our two values together and we can interpret now. How do we interpret? So since these two values are coming under acidosis, it is acidosis. And PaCO2 is the one under here. So it is respiratory. And did it um, compensate it? Yes, because the pH was normal. So it is fully compensated. So that's our answer. Let's do our last example. Here is our normal value, the question, the table, and the pH. It is 7.42. That is normal. And the uh, PaCO2 is 46. That means it is acidotic. It comes under here. And the bicarb is 27, so it is alkalotic. So it comes under there. So similarly, we don't have two things together under one. So we have to go back to pH. pH is 7.42. Where is it leaning towards? 7.42 is leaning towards the acid alkalotic, that is towards 7.45. Um, so where it comes under it goes here under the alkalosis so now we got two things together under alkalosis and we can interpret how do we interpret so for interpreting we have alkalosis and the bicarb is coming under alkalosis so that means the problem is metabolic so is it uh, compensating Yes, it is because the pH was normal and the uh, PaCO2 is abnormal. So PaCO2 tried to bring the pH back and it succeeded. That means it is fully compensated. That's it for today. Hope you liked the video. If you do, then give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And don't forget to share it with your friends and family. And if you have any suggestions, just let me know in the comments. Thank you.